you know, we walked out of the locker room last year at Gillette after the national championship game, and you know, obviously there was great disappointment in all of our our minds and our hearts, knowing that we just graduated 16 seniors, some of the greatest players to ever put on a Cornell uniform. Uh, but but the thought process uh, turned quickly to this season, the 2010 season, to figure out how we were going to get this team back on uh, the playing field and, and, and playing at the level that we just finished that season. Uh, in 2009, and it was a daunting task, knowing that we just graduated so much talent and 15 new faces were coming into town, 15 freshmen that we were starting from scratch with. So we put a lot of pressure and, and a responsibility on our senior class, in particular Pierce Durkak and Ryan Hurley back in the fall. And uh, watching us grow up through the fall and through the course of preseason, it was a slow process, uh, but one that our guys continued to stay the course with and, and were very determined uh, to get better each and every day. That was kind of the mantra of the team, get better every day uh, and each week. And, uh, and they've done just that, you know, with, with some highs and certainly with some lows throughout the course of the regular season. Um, you know, I think our guys never wavered. They, they had great confidence that, that things were going to eventually turn if they continued to keep working hard and that they stayed together um, and continued to bond with one another to create a, a journey that was going to be special for one another. Lo and behold, we finished the season uh, with, with kind of a must-win against Princeton during the regular season, getting us into the Ivy League tournament. Uh, but, but then losing that game into the tournament, I think, refocused uh, our team as we, we looked ahead to the NCAA tournament. And, uh, you know, I think each week is, has been a privilege for our team. I don't think any of these guys or our coaching staff are taking any of these games uh, for granted. Uh, 60 minutes of lacrosse is, is, uh, is an honor. Uh, and and it, I think it's symbolic of all the hard work and the efforts that these guys and our team have put, put forth to date. And uh, knowing that we're sitting here in the quarterfinal round uh, against a team like Army, um, I think it's, it's, it's a tribute to both teams, but I think it's uh, certainly a remarkable feat that our guys went from last year's season to losing all those, those great names and faces on that program and, and team to being in a position right now to compete down in Stony Brook against Army. So it's, it's been fun to watch as a coach. I know our entire coaching staff has enjoyed working with this particular group, and I, I think uh, you know our seniors, in particular Ryan and, and Pierce, deserve a lot of credit uh, for putting this team where they are here today. You know, through the course of the regular season, just, just having lost so much talent, we knew that we were going to have to put more emphasis on playing uh, sound systems uh, defensively and offensively. And we've always been, um, you know, uh, the believers that, that a great team can beat a team with great individuals. But, but this year's team, no more than any other team that we've ever had, has that been more important. Uh, and I think once the guys have adjusted, especially in the offensive end, around the likes of Rob Pinnell and Ryan Hurley and have, have, have taken on a little bit more responsibility and have been more accountable in the offense. Uh, we've done a much better job of sharing the ball, sharing responsibility, and have been much more productive. Um, I think the same holds true defensively, especially knowing that we have a freshman goalie, two freshman starting defensemen in, in Mike Bronzino and, and Jason Noble, uh, that we've tried to put more emphasis, more so than ever, on the whole versus the parts, and, and I think our guys have responded. We've got some talented parts, um, you know, within both ends of the field. But we've been at our best when we've played good systems, both in the offense and defensive end. So uh, it's been nice to see those guys gradually come together. You know, I think our lineup has changed through the course of the regular season. I think at this point, we've finally figured out the the right combination of of young men that that uh, represent both our offense and defensive units to the best of their ability, and I'm, and I'm hoping that that trend will continue, that we'll continue to rely more on the system uh, than any one individual. And I think if we continue to do that, uh, success will follow. So it's been nice to watch the progression and, and uh, our guys' commitment uh, to ensure that, that uh, those systems have, have, have gotten uh, the success and the production that they, that they have, and hopefully uh, they'll, they'll stay to the course and stay true to that course so that this journey can continue. You know, when we look at Army coming off that Syracuse game, we, we see ourselves in a lot of ways, offensively, defensively, the way they compete, um, you know, the way they, they believe in, in, in their whole versus the parts. they got some great parts, and I think, you know, the most impressive thing about Army is that every position they have a guy that really stands out as a leader uh, and stands out as a player as well. You know, at the attack, they got uh, Boltus, the midfield, McCallion, and uh, both the defense and midfield and the defense, they got the Henderson brothers, and then Goal Pileski, uh, and every one of those kids does a great job of, of just providing a leader uh, and a great player, not just a good player, a great player for them to start with. The, the group around them 
I think is what we're more, more, probably more impressed with, the way those guys understand their role and, and fall into their role selflessly uh, through the course of the game. So they're doing a good job of doing a, a lot of things that we try to teach and try to do with our own team, play great systems offensively and defensively, um, care a lot about the details, ground ball play, uh, face-offs, hustle plays, uh, and, and you know, as, as you would imagine most Army teams are, uh, they, they represent those stats very well. Uh, and I would say the last thing is, is just of the intangibles. Army seems to be a team that's really uh, got a, a lot of momentum going their way on an eight-game win streak, and it seems to be a team that, that's playing like they can't lose. Uh, and when you have that on your side and that, that lack of fear going into a game, you become a very dangerous team. So our guys respect the heck out of our opponent this week, and uh, we've tried to prepare for them both uh, tactically, X's and O's, and in terms of the mental process, and approach very well. So I'm hoping that uh, you know Pierce and Ryan will lead this group again into this week's contest. We know that we got our hands full with uh, the Army Black Knights, but I'm hoping that we'll put our best foot forward and compete against this group and give ourselves a chance to continue this journey and continue on.